Howdy folks, this is Tex Grebner with Tex Grebner Outdoors and this is part two of sharpening a large survival knife. This is again my Marine Raider Spec Plus Bowie from Ontario. Uh, I know you're shocked as hell that I own something other than cold steel. But <coughs> this is the part of the demo where I'm taking it to the stone. And uh as seen in part one, we backed up the relief cut using a file. And so this is the part of the demo where I tell you that uh, my knife sharpening technique may cause cancer. So, and I'm not saying that you should put in a dip to sharpen a knife, but I'm going to be spitting on the stone anyway. I might as well be getting something out of it. Yeah, 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 I know. But you asked for my knife sharpening technique, and that's what you're getting. So, now that that's over with, most good stones should have a coarse side and a smooth side. And you can tell which side it is by feeling it. It'll either feel rough, or it'll feel smooth. And the way that we're going to be doing this sharpening is, and keep in mind, this is just my method. We're going to be sharpening with the coarse side first. So, I sharpen from the tip to the pommel, and I use small circles. Now this tends to break with what is called traditional wisdom of knife sharpening, where they say you'd sharpen like that. I don't like that method, especially on larger knives. Why is that? because this part of the blade here never gets sharp because you run out of stone so we're just going to back that since we backed the relief cut up earlier with the file it makes this part so much easier and also when you're doing small circles you can tell what part of the blade is not uniform? And we're just going to go on a real shallow angle from the tip back on down the blade. So, just going to wipe that off and check this side of the edge. And uh, that's pretty good. So now we're going to move to this side. Same deal, very shallow angle, small circles. Wipe that off again and check my edge. And I would say that now it's safe to go to the fine side. You don't want to start out with the fine side first because then it just takes forever. So now we're switching over to the fine side. And keep in mind this is just my method your method may vary but people wanted to see mine so here you go just small circles from the tip back to the edge they're back to the pommel here Just going to wipe that off 
give it a feel check my geometry because you want a uniform edge now like I said in part one it doesn't matter that this isn't a super razor edge why is that? because if this is a survival knife then this is a big hefty knife it doesn't necessarily have to be super razor sharp to cut. So I'm now going to go over to the other side on the fine stone. And small circles again on this side. Wipe that off give it a feel and um, for a survival knife that's pretty darn sharp but if you insist on a razor edge even though it's not going to stay razor sharp this is a Smith's pull through sharpener just going to set it in on the ceramic side, not the flint side. Just going to set it in and pull it through. And that is going to roll the edge down and just make it a heck of a lot sharper. Now that super razor edge, because it's a very fine edge now, is not going to stick around very long but keep in mind we already have a good workable edge where we back the relief cut up so if you insist on a razor razor edge then you can you finish it with a ceramic pull through sharpener like this and uh, well, I doubt my camera will pick that up but there you go so I hope this demo video has been helpful keep in mind this is only my sharpening technique and uh, by the way, like I said, I'm not saying that you have to throw in a dip to sharpen a knife, but this is my technique. Here you go. I hope it's helpful. And uh, if you have any more questions, I'll try and answer them as best I can. Like I said a long time ago, and I'll say it again, I am no expert. But if you listen to what I'm saying, a lot of times I'll know my shit. So as always, God bless all my Ted Nietzsche blood brothers. Join the NRA to protect our rights. Thank you very much to those of you involved in law enforcement and serving in the military. And thank you to those of you that are my subscribers for all of your support. Like I said, I hope this is helpful. This is just my technique. Yours might vary and it might break with traditional wisdom. But thanks for watching Tech Scrubner Outdoors.